to another video. Um, those of you who are old hands at the Amiga will know of um, the famous uh, evening where Andy Warhol drew, uh, drew, drew or painted or whatever um, the image of Debbie Harry or Blondie in 1985 at the uh, Lincoln Center in New York. He used R.J. McCall's or R.J. Michael. I'm not sure how to spell your name. Uh, say your name, R.J. So I'll have to ask you. Um, he used uh, Andy used Graphic Craft or Graphic Craft or Graphic Craft, and that was created by R.J. As far as I'm aware. Let's have a look at what RJ did in 1985. I'm using version 1.1 1 .1 from 1985. I do have version 1. Version 1 makes the mouse pointer disappear and does some very odd things. Uh, version 1.1 1 .1 does give you a mouse pointer. Uh, so I'm going to use version 1.1 .1 for... Uh, well, just because it's a lot easier if you can see what you're doing. So, well, we'll just before we start, project, edit, special, cycle draw, color, shape, brush. Okay. Those of you who have seen um, uh, Computer Chronicles, there's um, an animation. I don't know if it's the ST or it's the Amiga, where they're talking about cycle draw. And it's um, a waterfall, and the water cascades down the, uh, down the waterfall. And that's using cycle draw. And what it does, it cycles through the color palette. So if you select, select various shades of blue for water, um, you can make it look as though the water is flowing. That's what cycle draw is. But all we're going to do in this particular episode of my ramblings is look at um, look at a few pre-made images that were supplied with graphic art in 1985. Uh, what I intend to do at some point is I will set up um, a video camera to the Amiga and see if I can import an image. I'm not sure I'll do it with a, a video camera, but I might import an image of Debbie Harry and just uh, mimic what Andy did in 1985. We'll see. We'll see. I may, I may not. Who knows? But this is the first picture uh, on the list. It's Skia. Ah, there we go. There's a good example of cycle draw, where they've used alternating colours to um, give the effect of the skier moving. That's very good, actually. You'd be thrilled to bits if you made that, wouldn't you? It's fantastic. Mum, quick look. Okay. Artificial heart. Ooh. Ooh, there's initials there. Something J. MJ? HJ? RJ? Don't know. I'm not sure what colour palette this is using. Or, um, rather, the amount of colours it's using. I would imagine... Amiga 1000. American Amiga 1000, what would it use? It'd use 32 colours, wouldn't it? It can't use an enhanced half bright because it didn't have it yet. How good is that? I remember weather maps on maps on TV looking like that. And I remember weather maps on TV being cardboard cutouts and they used to stick the clouds on, on bits of sticky tape. Oh my god. Show my age. Diamond ring. Ooh, you'd have a bit of cycling in there, wouldn't you? Have the, the diamond glinting or something. Okay. Or maybe not. Now we have no um, scroll bar indicator. Oh, it does move. Champagne. Okay, bubbles. What's a bubbles? It's the same artist in lots of these. Something J. I wonder if that's... Is that an M in there? I don't know. That might be an MJ. I wonder who did these pictures. Be quite interesting to find out. Cut and paste patterns. Okay. But uh, Graphicraft is um, 
quite a famous piece of software. It's the first, one of the first pieces of software, other than the workbench, that Commodore did, or commissioned, or whatever they did. No, they wouldn't have commissioned it. It would be their own, because they owned Amiga in 1985, didn't they? Um, it was the first piece of software to appear. One of the first pieces on the Amiga. I don't know if it was ever bundled with it, or you had to buy it. I think you had to buy it. I wonder how much it was. I'll have to look it up. Oh, that's a different artist. SDK, S-A-K. Don't know. There's no, um... No sax drawings of, um, castles or anything. Oh yeah, the cut-out figures. Uh, jumbo dog. Jumbo dog. Can't speak today. <laughs> uh, cool. That's really pretty damn good. I, I, I do like that. We can see where... Um, D paint got its inspiration from, especially the animation features. That's cool, it's even got shadows in the water. That's very good. That might be it. Credits. Cre uh, I don't suppose credits works. No. That's very good, very, very good. Um, brushes. Pointers. Ooh. Special. Brush. Oh, okay, it's changed the brushes. To 1986. Okay, let's load the other brushes in then. Footprints. So you should see that brushes has now changed. We has, we have footprints. With one foot, but there you go, footprints nonetheless. So that is excellent. Is there no information about it? No, I don't like it. There was no about in those days. Text. Okay, if you say so. Well, there you go. That's graphic craft. That's a nice painting to finish on. Yeah, I don't care. So that's graphic craft. Excellent. I really like that. That was good. Basic. But I like basic stuff. I'm a basic sort of person. Anyway, that's graphic craft on the Amiga. I would imagine it works on every Amiga. I should think it does. It's running the vampire at the moment. But it's, um, it's so basic it should run at full speed on anything. It's designed for an A1000 after all. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.